Hey everybody, this is the fifth part of the RTTA 100th episode, so let's actually start this recording, okay? Looks what like he's run out of steam suddenly. Wow. That's what happens to you if you eat too much junk food. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of breath, and it looks as though I'm not the only one. <laughs> what bullshit you talking now? Solitaire. Oh, Solitaire. What have they done to you? What the hell has that evil bastard done? My lovely, lovely Solitaire. <laughs> Who was she? Solitaire was the boss's favorite girl. And the chances are that they're his family you can see as well. Well, we know the cat's cross-eyed. I'm gonna kill him. I am gonna hamburger him. I'll tear his balls off and stuff them down his throat. I'll, uh, uh, what kind of heartless bastard would do this? Who? Who? Tell me. You <laughs> Out of the time, but then who did it? Who was it? <laughs> Damn, huh? you're gonna die. Oh, come, wait, maybe he. I hope that's not the killer, actually. Couldn't be. Uh, he's probably got a any idea where that gutless sadist is, smartass? I don't even know the way back to my place with all this coming down. He's gotta be up ahead, boss, but only three back yards left till we hit the highway. That's where we'll get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go. See ya. Damn, ain't he lucky? <laughs> Seriously, that's just by luck that he survived. Clever little bastard. Jeez Louise, literally. This gets like all mangled and old. I don't think he could have done it. I mean, literally. I wonder what made that hole, though. Interesting. I'm trying in the lion's den, kitty cat. Seriously? Holy shit. I'd have about enough of this new nightmare. The killing of Kong's lady friend Solitaire had scrambled my theories on the murders in one sharp stroke. And now here I was in some godforsaken hellhole. Great. Ruby? I'm not sorry to see you, though I hate to admit it. Damn it, I'm getting too old for this bullshit. It's <laughs> allowed. So not so loud. What difference does it make with our friend Kong wailing like a banshee in delirium? I saw the lovely solitaire and followed you over the walls. Where are we now? No idea. Hmm. Smart ass. Hmm. Oh, he didn't say it. I'm surprised. It's like a fucking mole nest. Oh my god, are those... If that's a joke... <laughs> Shit! That's kinda fucked up. Kinda scary, yeah, actually. Like that. A mass grave. What do you make of it? Smell it? Yeah. Disgusting. The smell of rotting flesh. Kong was right. The old codger is the killer. But no sign of Sasha down here. Or Team Purple. Or Felicity. Uh -huh. 
Do not attack the Guardian of the Dead. Although the Guardian has sinned in breaking the Holy Rule, he knows that he must pay dearly. Do you always give your victims this shit before sinking your teeth in? What's your name, my friend? My name is Yesaya. And is all this your work? I mean, this skeleton covered? Did you kill them all and drag them down here? No, it wasn't me. The dead come down to me. They're sent by the Prophet. A real nutcase, if you ask me. Yeah. Tell us where you're from, Yesaya. That's and a lot of dead cats. Once there was a suffering dreamland. I was born there. It was a place of sorrow till the Prophet mm -hmm. came among us and brought us salvation. And God heard the pleading of the Prophet. He sent down the day with his blinding light. The bright day destroyed the land of illusion. And then we who'd suffered fled blindly into the world. What happened to the Prophet? Okay. He was taken to heaven. Father Joker told me all this. What? The leader of the Gaudanda sect? Mm. This Gaudanda. temple had been his home for years when he rescued me in my need. He brought me here and cared for me. But then, the day came when Joker had to leave me to spread the Prophet's message throughout the world. And how did Joker account for the collection of bones he'd so lovingly gathered down here? He didn't. When Father Joker and I lived here together, it wasn't the charnel house you see now. One day, however, quite soon after Father Joker had left me, I heard frightening, mysterious sounds in the tunnel. Terrified, I made my way to the entrance, and to my horror, I was confronted by a dead sister lying there. Oh, shit. All at once, I heard the voice of the Lord from on high. And what did the Lord say? He said, I had been chosen to be the guardian of the dead, and must never again return to the world of light. But now everything has changed, for I haven't heard the prophet's voice for a long time. Damn. Nor does he send the dead to their kingdom? I have been forsaken. How the reason cat survived this whole time? Can you tell me something about the victims? I mean, were they sisters and brothers who'd been sexually excited? That was often the case, my friend. Dang. But others, horribly mutilated, also came to the temple. Were there any that were pregnant? Many. Oh, yes. Many. Many. Oh, shit. Sorry guys, I accidentally pushed pause. Cod fillet natural. Cod fillet boiled. Cod fillet lightly grilled, basted in butter. Ah, or cooled with mayonnaise. Can't you think of anything except food? Don't you see what we've discovered? Ah, sure, smartass. It isn't seven murders we have to deal with, it's hundreds. These murders started many, many years ago. It may go right back to the closing of a certain laboratory. No kidding. You mm -hmm. made a very important observation down in the hellhole. No kidding. Why weren't the bodies of Sasha, Deep Purple, Solitaire, and Felicity down there with the rest of them? Because I'd think the murderer is as tired of the whole goddamn thing as me. All I want is a hot meal beside a warm fire. What I want is cod fillets. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I want cod fillets and butter or mayonnaise. It's only Joker that knows anything about the Prophet Clodandus, right? Hmm. Why does it have to be this good preacher who likes the cunt turned up? Hmm. Don't know. You said it was just killing Weird. time, a bit of fun. Yeah, something like that. Lou Beard, I'm beginning to think that this sect has a very specific purpose, as though they're preparing for the arrival of something that we can barely begin to imagine. Cut like this. Like a fresh piece of fish. He wish. I went home and took a nap. Hoping the dream state I'd fallen into before might throw new light on the mystery. Egypt! Oh shit, I was just joking. <laughs> but it kind of gave it away. Who the fuck? Claude Bannis? No. Hmm. Oh yeah, great, thanks. We have to wait till next part to see what the hell happens. The mysterious cat. Who knows what waits ahead of us. Other than that, stay tuned for part 6 of the RTT8 100th episode. Until then, Saul the Hedgehog signing out.